Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to look at world climates and we're going to look at the uh, at a cold climate. And the cold climate, the cold region that we're going to look at in today's lesson is a uh, boreal region. Okay, so first of all we need to know um, whereabouts do we find uh, cold climates? Well, for cold climates we've got two cold climates that we can look at, two co cold regions, so boreal and tundra regions. So the first thing you need to know is whereabouts a boreal uh, regions are located. And they're mainly located at uh, 55 degrees and 65 degrees north of the equator. An example would be in North Canada. So north of Canada. The next thing you need to know is um, what is the temperature. And boreal regions have long nights in winter and long days in summer. The average temperature in winter is minus 15. And summers are warm with average temperatures reaching 15 degrees. So winter is equal to minus 15 degrees. Summer equals... 15 degrees Celsius. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is the amount of rainfall that a boreal region uh, receives. And the total yearly precipitation is from, is from 300 to 500 millimetres per year. So 300 to 500 millimetres per year. Although the cold winters have some heavy snowfall, most of the precipitation comes as rain. And it comes during uh, the warm, humid summer months. The next thing we're going to look at is the soil type, and the the main the, the soils that can be found here in in the, in the boreal region is our, our podzol, so they're podzol soils, and because they're podzol, they contain lots of iron and uh, aluminium, and are regularly leached. So leaching takes place quite a lot, um, and this causes um, all the, the good nutrients to go from the A horizon down to the B horizon and makes it very hard to grow crops. The next thing we're going to look at is the flora. Uh, these regions have evergreen uh, forests and these evergreen uh, forests, the, the, the trees are called taiga trees. Taiga trees. And they're usually coniferous forests. Coniferous forests, so like they have um, usually pine needles. And the trees have adapted to life in the harsh, cold environment. Um, because, they're, because they're needle shaped, it reduces uh, the moisture loss. They're also like a cone shape. Um, and the reason why they're cone shaped is because they allow the snow to fall off, uh, the, off, the, off, off their, uh, their pines. So they don't land on like the if they had leaves then the snow would land on leaves and then it'd break um the it'd break the branches off. So they have uh cone shapes so it allows the snow to fall off them. They also have thick bark which protects uh their trunk against the, the uh, against the, the freezing cold and they've got really shallow roots to allow um to avoid permafrost. Permafrost is when the ground is uh, frozen which exists within a meter of the surface so the so the roots of the taiga trees are really shallow the next one is the fauna there are many animals can be found in boreal in this boreal region such as moose bears black black bears uh snow snowshoe hares Snowshoe hares and lynxes. And these animals have adapted to this in order to survive in this environment. And an example would be the, the snowshoe hares and the lynx. They have large feet and that's so they can enable them to walk across the snow. Because if they had, if they had um, small feet they'd they would sink and fall into the snow. But they've got large feet 
which enables them to have a larger mass size and stops them from sinking into the snow. The last one is human activity. And forests have become uh, threatened because of uh, industry starting to extract the, the wood. Um, and wood has been extracted for, for logging. Also, um, animals are being are being hunted in in the uh, in the boreal region, and they're hun hunted usually um because of their fur, and they also have there's also been a large increase in the construction of hydroelectric facilities, particularly in Canada, and this has led to large areas of forestry being ch being cut down, in order to enable the the, the construction of the hydroelectric facilities. Okay, so we've looked at the boreal region, uh, which is a cold climate. Um, I've looked at the ma the main uh, headings, the location, the temperature, the rainfall, the soil, the flora, the fauna, and the human activity. And I've also added in some more as I talked through each one. This is a good uh, case study to know. Um, it's a good region to know this boreal region because there's um, quite a lot of adaptations it's particularly between the flora and the fauna, how animals and the trees have adapted in order to survive in this in this region. Whereas if you do the tundra region, there's not as much uh, adaptations because not as many uh, plants and animals live in the tundra region. Okay, so I hope you, uh, you've enjoyed my tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, can you please leave me some feedback? Also, can you check out our website, examvision.ie, where you can find lots more videos for uh, geography, for maths and for business. Uh, can I ask you to please subscribe to YouTube uh, channel and you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram for all our, all our latest news and updates. Thank you.